check that movie out. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Melanie. Thank you. So now we are here with Wilbert Turner, and we are going to uh, talk about the NBBA beep. beep Ball. But before we actually talk to Wilbert <laughs> about Beep Ball, let's show you a clip so you can have an idea and a visual of what this is all about. So let's go check a look. Take a look at Beep Ball. Beep Ball. <laughs> In baseball, they tell you to keep your eye on the ball. But if you can't see the ball, you listen to it? Vice check. This is beep baseball, played by people who are blind. They hit, they run, and they play defense. Just because they're blind doesn't mean they can't play. Sixteen teams from the United States and Taiwan recently played the World Series of Beep Baseball near Cleveland, Ohio. The team from Taiwan defeated the West Coast Dogs 31-23 to win the title. It's called beep baseball because they play with a ball the size of a big grapefruit that constantly beeps loud enough to hear anywhere on the field. Because some players have peripheral vision or can see light, everyone wears a blindfold to level the playing field. That is, except the pitchers and catchers who are sighted and are on the same team with their batters. Oh, Wilbert, you know what? I'm just so glad that you know you have brought this to our attention. It's right, really that was why I'm, I'm like, it went off, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm really getting into this. Like, this is fabulous. So, how did you get involved, or what's your role in beatball? Do you play? Uh, yes, I still try to play. Uh, <clears throat> I'm one of the older players at this point in my career. However, mm -hmm. uh, fortunately for me, I still have a few athletic skills left. Okay. So. <laughs> well, but how long, well, how long have you been playing? Actually, I, I began playing the game at about 33. Okay. okay. Uh, I actually moved to Ohio from Alabama and I had heard about beat baseball, but uh, I always managed to get off work too late. So <laughs> I missed the bus okay. for years and years. <laughs> And well, one day I was coming through the lobby of the federal building and uh, ran across another young man that was pitching for the team, and he told me that they were having a practice near downtown. Mm -hmm. And told you to come on by and, and check told it out. Me to stop by and check it out. What did you think at first? I mean, were you skeptical, or did you have that confidence all along that this was something you could do? Well, I actually come from a long line of persons with athleticism, a lot of uncles and aunts uh, mm -hmm. have all played some kind of sports, football, basketball, baseball. In fact, uh, I was a wrestler myself uh, through high school. So I just kind of wanted a chance. I was curious. I'd never seen the game before. Mm -hmm. Now the video talked about um, there are different players that have different abilities, but because of some can see light and some cannot, so you they'll just blindfold everyone. Um, at what levels or what disabilities um, do most people have that participate? Uh, they could vary from being a high partial, which means they can get around without a cane, they can read large print, to someone like myself who's totally blind. It's, uh, I'm at the point where I'd almost have, have to put my hand on a light bulb or near it to feel the heat to know whether it's on or off. Mm -hmm. And how, how long have you, have you ever been sighted or what's your story there? I was actually born visually impaired, but mm -hmm. uh, until about the second grade I could read two inch letters on black and white. Okay. Now, the World Series, they said, for the beep ball was here in Cleveland and it was about 16 teams in the grid in, in Oh, in America? Actually, there's probably a few more than 16 teams in America, but usually only about 16 will make participate. the trip to participate in the World Series because this is probably the highest level of the game. Okay, well, you know what? This has really been, you know, I, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's really fantastic. And um, I don't, I don't even know if I, how good of a baseball player I would be. If someone wants excited. to get involved, want to participate, to volunteer, to, sh um, to get involved with this activity, yeah, how could they get involved? Well, you can contact me uh, at 216-374-7205, or 
or you can contact Kevin Verrett at 216-671-8467 and let us know what your interest is. Uh, if you're actually interested in playing, our practices they usually run from the middle of April through the end of July at Tri-C Metro Campus. We try to keep the practices centralized so that folks from all parts of Cuyahoga County can come right. can can get, get there. to okay. yes. Well, Wilbert Turner, so good to have you, you on, and uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Okay. I'm a beatball. That's all right. Beatball. So now you know what? We're going to go to a commercial break, so uh, stay with us. Here we'll we ba be back with uh, Valerie Cecil. Valerie. Oh, I love Valerie. So Fabulous. You don't want to go away. We'll be right back.